today we are going to be painting Snoopy's roof because, uh, yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. So uh, we're going to try and just rattle can it something quick and just something to protect it so it doesn't get any worse until we can actually go back and do a good quality paint job on the whole truck. Truck cleaned up pretty good with just the sandpaper, but uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get some of it off with this wire wheel here. And uh, if that doesn't work, I'll just sand it and smooth it out and just paint over it. If the paint stayed on there this long, it's probably not coming off anytime soon. Quick update, uh, we went ahead and used the wire grinder you saw in the time lapse to go ahead and get some of that old paint off and I'm gonna go back and just do a little bit more sanding on it and uh, maybe take some sandpaper and try and get these edges scuffed up a little bit where there's still some white paint. Uh, also for the record, this isn't nearly anything close to a professional paint job. This is just a quick rattle can job to protect the roof so that later on when we uh, paint it down the road, it's not going to be a whole lot of rust issues to deal with. Uh, roof turned out really nice. I got pretty much all the paint off. There's still a little bit on the edge, but I'm not worried about that. Um, gonna, I guess, do the last little cleanup, wipe it down with some alcohol and a microfiber towel, and then I guess, uh, tape it all off and start painting.
stuff. And I guess ready to paint. Okay guys, we were able to do two coats of black paint last night. I gave it 20, about eh, pretty close to 24 hours to dry. And it, it seems to be good and dry, you know, doesn't come off on your hands or anything. So I think it's time to go ahead and do the clear coat. We're gonna wipe it off with our microfiber towel. And then uh, go ahead and put on two coats of clear. And uh, we didn't film the second coat of black cause that's just black on black. And we won't film the second coat of clear cause that's just, Nothing, nothing to see there. And also, a quick tip for anyone doing this. Uh, I did this on a similar truck. I, I painted another truck roof black. It was literally like the same setup. It was an OBS Chevy, except this one was a 1500 gasser. But uh, I rushed it. I ended up doing the black and the clear coat uh, without giving the black enough time to dry. And then I ended up having the clear coat bubble up. And I rushed because I was in a hurry because I had to work on the blue truck. But... The truck I was painting was in the shop, so I really rushed it. Uh, so, quick tip, if you guys are painting the roof of your truck black and doing a rattle can job like us, uh, make sure you give the color coat plenty of time to dry before you go ahead and put on the clear coat. Happy boy, because you got a turbo diesel. Okay guys, uh, since I uh, last updated you, uh, the paint did actually bubble up, and I know I talked about that, I thought the paint had enough time to dry, but I think since it was a little bit colder out last night, it did not have enough time to dry, so it bubbled up, so we had to go back, and me and my dad had to scrape off and sand a few of the spots where it bubbled up, and then uh, go back and hit with some black and hit with some clear, and I just did that a few minutes ago, so it's still drying. But uh, we're about to go ahead and after it gives, it, gives, it gives it a little bit to dry and set up, we're gonna go ahead and pull all the tape off and then wrap it and see how it looks. And uh, like I said, this is a rattle can job. This isn't perfect by any means. This is just kind of protect it and looked halfway decent. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna look good. So uh, yeah, we're about to go ahead and take the tape off here in a bit. guys thank you for joining me on this journey of trying to get rid of some rust and throw up some fresh paint um it, as you can tell it's not a perfect paint job but um it's gonna keep gonna keep the truck protected and it looks so much better than rust as the old saying goes anything looks better than rust and i love the black it looks really sharp that gloss black next to the white looks cool and it's gonna get us by till we repaint the truck later down the road if we do i'm kind of i'm kind of digging the patina look and with that being said, uh, not 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 bad for you know like nine dollars and ninety seven cents. It's it's a pretty good paint job for what we spent, and you know it was a quick one too. Got things coming up, so we just had to get it done. But it's all protected, so it'll be safe from the elements when it's outside when I'm driving around in the rain and whatnot. And uh, another quick note, just about the channel, 
Um, we also have an Instagram. It has the same name as our YouTube channel, Lone Star Spicy Boys. If you haven't followed us there, be sure to go find us and give us a follow. Uh, you can kind of see some behind the stuff, uh, behind the scenes stuff we do there. Sometimes when we're working on a vehicle, we may not have time to film it. So we'll throw up some pictures of what we did or videos on Instagram. And also there's some scenic so uh, shots of the truck on there and fun little stuff we like to post on Instagram. And it's also a much better way to reach us. I'm on Instagram more frequently than I am on YouTube. It's easier for me to check it when I'm busy, check Instagram. So if you guys have questions about how to do some of the stuff we did to the trucks, uh, questions about you know what lift and tires and just questions about the trucks in general it's a much better way to reach us and get those questions answered and also uh be sure to feel free to still comment on youtube we try and respond to that too and go through that when we can as well and uh, drop us a comment ask us a question we would love to hear from you tell us which uh which old truck is your favorite on the channel and uh what you like about the channel maybe things you'd want to see us do so thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching